Hey everyone, so today for Spirit Day is to show how helpful you are around the house. And you can see Mr. Tecklenburg is putting away our dishes. Yeah, he's already helping out, awesome. So I can't wait to see that on Facebook. All right, let's go in to my office and we will do our prayer for today. All righty. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for all the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alrighty. So yes, we know today is how helpful are you and we just went over what spirit day that was so today you math you're going to watch two math videos over quim fractions and then you'll have a homework 11 5 worksheet for reading you're going to take your folktale quiz which is due today by 6 p.m you're also going to send pictures of your first three log sheets to my to me by wednesday we'll talk more about that on the slide and read for 20 minutes and we have some new logs if you need to print them out um for writing we have a writing prompt today i just forgot to put that there but we'll go over it social studies you're going to read lesson eight those pages and watch my video religion you're going to cut and glue events of the holy week sheets and read them about them in spectrum you're basically going to do the same thing that you were asked to do on thursday and that's going to be due tomorrow and then for our daily challenge, you're going to take a picture of something your family has in your house for Easter. Alrighty, so for math, I have two math videos for you to watch. You can take notes if you want to. You don't have to. And then you're going to do 11-5 practice worksheet. So that worksheet should be in that stapled homework packet that we sent home. It will start out with 11-1. You just need to flip to 11-5 practice worksheet. And um, you just need to do the front page, the only this page that says practice. And you need to send a picture to me by tomorrow at 8 a.m. So for reading, you're gonna go to your to Google Classroom and you are gonna take the folktale quiz. And then, like I was saying earlier, you need to send a pic of your first three weeks of re the reading log to me by Wednesday. So um, you can make new copies from the slide, which is on the next slide, or you, if you can't make copies, just recreate this log in your notebook paper and then just keep track of it like that. Doesn't matter to me as long as you're keeping track of your reading. And read for 20 minutes and um, do complete your log. And there's a picture of the log right there. And then for writing, your writing prompt today is, you have now spent five years in school, choose the grade you enjoyed the most and explain why. Um, for social studies, you need to start reading lesson eight, which is page 107, 108, 109, and 110. And then you need to watch my video and you do not need to write any vocabulary words down and there's no homework. So you don't need to write any vocab words down and there's no homework. Just read those pages and watch my video. And then for religion, you are going to find these three sheets and cut out the pieces of the events of the Holy Week and glue them onto a sheet with squares. And she said there's no need to send pictures, so you don't need to send any pictures to her about this. But you need to read the sheets that explain the days of the Holy Week. And then here it is, right there. And then for Spectrum, the same thing you did on Thursday. You need to do your two IXLs. Make sure you get 80% or better. That's due by tomorrow. And then make sure to send me an email by 8 a.m. tomorrow with these things in them for, to show me that you know how to write a sentence with a colon in it. Alrighty, that is all for today. So if you do this right now, if you, after you watch my video and you comment down on my post and you say that you watch this video, I want you to say that, just say one thing you did over the weekend. And if you say that, if you put a comment down below, you will get five dojo points added to your dojos.